Barbas. When did you find out and how did you find out you were pregnant? Who child? <laughs> this story is a motherfucking roller coaster because bitch, I was like, what? Ow! Ow! Goodness, the bubble boy! You eat the bubbles. No, you don't eat the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> the real reason we went to the doctor was because I was masturbating and my stomach after I came got like brick hard. Like it's like the baby is turning its back on you or something. Like it's like the weirdest feeling ever. Cam, mm. okay, so it is. No. No, no, no. The bitch was so happy to tell me I was pregnant. Like she didn't see my birthday or something. Like, like bitch, you know how young I am. But she just came in there like, well. You're pregnant. And I'm like, you're wrong. And then she's like, no, you're pregnant. And I'm like, I don't know what is going on. I just thought, whatever it is, I'm getting an abortion. And then I went and tell you my stomach was flat as fuck. And she told me I was damn near seven months pregnant. Hi, Kevin. What's the point? Da, 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 da. What you mean? For that young bird, you the best. Da, 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 if you know exactly what I wanna do, oh my god! And I'ma get a business too. I don't even fuck his part. I just like the business. The stereo gum writer is here, so I'm gonna go upstairs and grab him. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Why that tattoo? Is that your first tattoo? Uh, nah. My first tattoo was this. It says, keep thy heart. And then this. Right here. Because my boyfriend, he died. My child father, he died. And when we used to be in the bed together, sleeping together, I used to... He used to have this tattoo right here. So when he would sleep like this, and I would like be behind him, I could see his tattoo. So I got it because I felt like whenever somebody fall in love with me, when I'm asleep, they gonna see that. Yeah. And it's just like everlasting love for me. Like nothing made me more happy than waking up in his house and the smell of his mother cooking breakfast and opening up phones of my phone with text messages of my mom telling me, bitch, bring your ass home, where the fuck you at? Like, nothing is more reminiscent than those times. It back to that, um, it, yeah, just back to just being a badass. Like, I was so bad. And then when he passed, though, me and my mom, my mom got this in the middle of her back. And then I got mine exactly where he had his, and this too. He had this right here, too. And um, this always reminds me that you either die or you keep going. That's it. You, that's it. You don't have no other option. The world don't stop. Your job don't stop. Your kids don't stop. Money don't stop. Haters don't stop. The internet don't stop. Trends don't stop. Clothes don't stop. Don't shit. Shows don't stop. No, nothing fucking stop. Unless you stop. So, keep it going. I was working as a receptionist at a hospital. And Nick was working at the dollar store. We were like both surviving off like $400 checks. And it was really rough. Now, one thing about Malik is he's really cool. Men are so creeped out by like pregnant girls, especially when it's like not their kid. It's like, oh. But he's just very nice. Our first business idea together was him to become an engineer. 
So the next thing you know, he just started downloading beats. And then I just was like, all right, you gotta test the mic, right? So I just got on the mic and I was testing the mic. And then Malik, he told me that, keep it going. They wanna hear what's next, what's next, what's next. They keep trying hard to get at me, but I don't think it's sticking. He like, what else? They only wanna be with me because they see me winning. What else? It's diamonds in my head, so it's hard for me to listen. What else then? Bitch, I'm worth a check. I bet you want for me to hit you. Like, it's just, I mean, <laughs> that shit crazy. It just flow, cause you in the studio, it's good vibes. Because shit is exhausting. Like, I don't know. I feel like people think, ooh, toy life. And me, I think, like, ooh, having to rewear clothes. Push it to the limit. He was my best friend. This is Cam's daddy right here on my lock screen. My angel is always with me. It's like weird, like, you know, I believe it's kind of like somewhat of a reincarnation because like, I just see his father in him every time I look at him. He just remind me of Brandon. But you know, so a lot much. of times, shit like that happens. It's like when life is born, you lose other life. But it's just, but it's not, God, it's like, not, yeah. It's like, it's not, it's not always how we want it to be. I swear, every single time somebody I know passed away or something happened, somebody else ended up pregnant or something and it's like, it literally is like life for life, and that shit is mad weird. I mean, yeah, it's just I don't know, like that, you know, like, you just see him, and it like when he was a kid. Every time I saw him, his face would light up, like he would run to me, and that shit like used to make me feel like damn, like he know who I am type shit, and it's cool. Like and now he's getting older, and he's just acting more and more like his father. And I just keep seeing all these branded ass tendencies in this boy, like. The night where he passed away, that morning, I posted a song, Cunt Killer, that is still on my SoundCloud. And I remember he picked me up from school, and he was late. It was cold outside. He had sex. He did something he wasn't supposed to do. And that's how we get Cam. But I didn't care. And neither did he. And well, we know there's a plan B. So we're just like, we'll get the plan B tomorrow. I go home because my mom is like, where the fuck are you? And my lies just wasn't good enough that night. Honestly, I think this is 
when she found out that I was having sex. So I just stayed downstairs. And I was on FaceTime with him. And we was talking about Cunt Killer. And I remember he tweeted, my girlfriend gonna be famous by tomorrow. I got off the phone because he was hyping me up and made me want to do music even more. And around three o'clock in the morning, Kelsey called me. Um, yeah, she was just like, she died. He had an asthma attack. It was merely just him not having an inhaler. Anybody got that trust issue? Kenny, they keep trying hard, they get at me, but I don't think it's the game. They only wanna be with me because they see me winning. They got it in my ear, so it's hard for me to listen. Bitch, I'm worth a track, I bet you want for me to hit you. Read that close, I bet you wanted me to kiss you. I'll fit sick, I should be walking with a tissue. Look like the shit, good or bad. Guess what my mother just said Cam's favorite song is? What? Snake a bitch? Bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> hey, that's my nigga. Can't be like, moo. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Oh, I miss my baby. That's crazy. I keep looking at videos of him when he was a baby. I'm like, damn, he's never going to be this small. He's just gonna keep getting bigger. <laughs> I know he gets so mad when I hold him like a baby. He gets so upset. But now I see why you, you always used to try to hold me like a baby. And I'd be like seven, seven years old and you are cradling me. Like, what the fuck? When I see him, he is going to lose his shit. <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh my god, mommy. What is this? Where are we? Wait, I'm so sorry. Look at these niggas over there. What the fuck is On the hill, like high. Yo, it is cows lined up on the hill. Like, look up there. Yo, ma, you really gotta see this. Hold on, wait a minute. Damn. For a long time, I was afraid to do shit. And then I went through a, a phase like right after that where it was like if I could die from it I wanted to do it like if I could die if I if I'm like walking down the street I'm walking down the street in the most reckless way after he died I just remember I didn't go to school I didn't take a shower for like a month and I still had like hickeys and I still had like just shit from him that was just like made me not want to get in the shower it's a, a perfume and he bought it for me and I used to use it every day in high school. I remember I was sitting in the bathroom and I would spray that shit. Like sp spray it to the point where I'm like, like bitch. <laughs> like, are you trying to kill yourself? Like I would just sit in the bathtub and just spray the perfume until my nose was literally like, like I couldn't smell nothing. I hate thinking about it cause it's like, you think about that, you know, like that shit was not even that long ago. I tried to kill myself like two times. And then I found out I was pregnant with my fucking kid. So everything that did make sense made sense.
This is a Yo. stick up. Where's my kid? Okay. Running right here being wild. Hello. Bye. <laughs> yes. Just go. Oh, he's been doing it. He doesn't know sit all down, of them. Sit down so, next to mommy you know, and show what you learned in school. He might impress you. What's that? Duck. What's the, that one? Egg. Hey. Oh. That's his face. <laughs> Fish. Uh huh. Cow. Mommy, your sapatos. They smell really good. Where's your sapatos? Wow, I missed you. Sapato. Let me see this. Okay. Oh, I love it. It flies. It flies. Mm. Yes, it flies. Come on, I got you. I got you. You don't trust me? Come on. Oh, that was a bad job. Why? I don't know. Big move. 